Hello everyone, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Today is Monday, June 22nd, 2020. Today, we're going to be talking about Father's Day. That's right, you thought I forgot about Father's Day? No way. Father's Day is such an important day for all of us. So as we get the post notifications ready to go out to make sure that everybody's ready to join us, we just want to take the time to say thank you to every single person that continues to make this show a success. We'd like to point out one important thing. Um, July 29th, that's a Sunday, July 29th, I will be actually, um, once again, preaching from my church. So I hope that all of you will join us on July 29th, that's a Sunday, it'll be at 10 a.m., and it will be a simulcast done on this show and also on Facebook Live. <clears throat> this is an opportunity for you to take a look at everything and to join us live. With that being said, let's get started with another edition of Half Faith, Let It Begin, and we're going to start that right now broadcasting live worldwide on june 16th 2018 a show designed for you the daily commuter went live a weekly show all about faith a show with motivational topics inspirational stories and personal testimony set out to change the world Hi, I am Mia. You are listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hello, my name is Amari, and today we are back on another episode of Have Faith and Let's Begin. Hi, my name is Isabella, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hey, this is Freddie, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hi, my name is Angela, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Broadcasting live worldwide. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this live edition of Half Faith, Let It Begin. Today is Monday, June, June 22nd, 2020. I almost said January. Holy cow. Folks, I'd like to welcome each and every one of you to our Father's Day special. You thought I forgot about Father's Day, didn't you? Well, I wanted to do something a little different. Instead of doing an actual Father's Day episode on Sunday, I wanted all of you to enjoy the time with your family and your friends, so this way I can do a Father's Day special today. would like to also start off by wishing my brother, DJ Eric, and Mr. DJ Eric, happy birthday, my friend, uh, as you're turning now 49, I believe. I don't even know how old you are, but you're up there. Ha <laughs> ha! Listen, enjoy your birthday. Uh, Thank you so much. For those of you that don't know who that is, that is the father of Gabby, uh, who is actually our theme song writer and uh, producer and also, um, not producer, but the theme song writer and performer of the song Tested. So big shout outs to him. Happy Father's Day and uh, also happy uh, birthday belated. It was actually today. So just wanted to point that out. And let's get started. Okay, folks. um, Father's Day. Such a very special day. I hope that each and every one of you had a glorious and faithful and uh, blessed Father's Day. I myself did, and I thank my wife for uh, being a huge part of that, um, coming home to getting a sign on the door to having a beautiful card, and um, just, you know, all around, it was a great day. So folks, let's get started with this episode. Father's Day is important. Not to throw out the fact that Mother's Day is important. And also, there are a lot of mothers out there that are playing both roles. To those mothers out there, happy Father's Day to you too. When we become a father, when our child is born, when we bring a child home, it is the most uplifting feeling in the world. I can only speak from my personal experience. I remember the day that I was told I was going to be a dad. I remember waiting for the results. And in those minutes that you're waiting to hear your wife utter the words, 
we're having a baby or we're pregnant, your life changes from that very moment. Your life changes as the nine months prepare and the preparation and you're trying to get things ready and making a nursery and spending 12 and a half hours putting a crib together uh, or painting a room and just getting things in order your life changes and of course the day that you watch your child come into this world the day where you hear the cry for the first time the day you hold your child in your hands in your arms the day that you change your first diaper from the moment she grasps your finger or he from the moment the child looks into your eyes and says daddy dada papi papa is the greatest feeling in the world to be a father is a badge of honor to be a father is a privilege some of us out there may not be a a dad may have always wanted to be a father but some of us have the heart of a dad and will do things in the fatherly spirit One of the things that I try to understand now that I'm a dad is the love that our Father, our Heavenly Father did, must have had to be able to give His Son, His only Son, and to sacrifice His Son for our sins is the most unbelievable thing in the world, but it's something I understand more than ever. Because I would give my life for my daughter. As many of you would give your life for your child. You would do anything for them. You would keep them safe. You would do anything in the, in the world in your power to make sure that they have all that they need. Now I'm going to speak directly to all the men out there that have children. You have been given a gift. You have two gifts in your life. The mother of your child and your child. You are a direct reflection of those two individuals. Maybe three, maybe four, depending how big your family is. But your child is your responsibility. Our goal, our mission, our badge indicates that we We'll do all that we can to give that child unconditional love, respect, guidance, and the right path to righteousness. My father taught me all those things. My father, Angel Sr., sat me down at a restaurant at the age of 12, telling me how to treat a woman, teaching me That if you disrespect any woman, you might as well disrespect your mother. You are to treat every woman. You are to treat your wife like a queen. Our Heavenly Father has provided us with an opportunity to become a dad. Our goal is to honor that gift Our mission is to make sure we do all that we can to keep that child safe and to teach the child what's right and what's wrong. One of the greatest experiences of my fatherhood life in the 19 months I've been with my daughter is when she wakes up from a nap and I pick her up and hold her and she gives me that little tiny hug that's so powerful it brings tears to my eyes when she smiles and looks at me and tries to give me something like a cup or a toy or when she actually looks at me and says book book because she wants me to read to her 
I'm cherishing every second, every minute that I have. Because I know that in a blink of an eye, I'm going to be wishing for these moments back. I hope that each and every one of you that have children, that want children, that are about to have children, embrace the badge that you have been given. Now let me just stop for a second and acknowledge the gentlemen that are out there that may not have children, but have pets. You, my friends, are also fathers. And it's your responsibility to treat those pets with the same fortitude that you would treat a child. Honor them and love them and respect them and cherish the time you have with them because you too are also fathers. Some would disagree. I don't. So on this day, we honor every father, past, present, and future. And we thank our Heavenly Father for teaching us to love, to cherish, to pray, to guide, and to provide wisdom. We thank our wives for giving the birth of our children. We thank our wives for being so special. I thank my wife for being an amazing mother. Our goal as parents is to continue our daughter, your sons, your children's, to lead them in the right path. That's all I had to say today on this Father's Day. I hope each and every one of you enjoy your day. May God bless you. And happy Father's Day. Have faith. Let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730 Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we (laughs) She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.